Hi, this is Pamela. Um, I just wanted to do a tutorial for to show you how I made the and created the book that I made for Sheena Douglas's Bella Luna collection. Um, I just want to say thank you for all the likes and comments. It was much appreciated and I thought, okay, let's try and do this video for you. It's my first time, so bear with me, <laughs> please. <laughs> Okay, so to start with, for the base of the book, I used mount board, and it's 1.5mm. Uh, there are other varieties around. I think Crafter's Companion do a nice white one. Um, it doesn't matter what colour, you're going to be hiding it with your papers anyway. So, 2 times 7 inch by 7 inch pieces of mount board, and 1 2 inch by 7 inch piece of mount board. Okay, so that forms the base of your book. You're also going to need two pieces of craft card. And I've cut those at 9.3 inches by 8 and a quarter. 8 and a quarter is the length depth this way anyway. So two 9.3 inches. And I've just stuck them together with the six. Um, let me just find... I've stuck them together with the 6mm red tape liner. Okay, so you could see how much, just a little overlap here. And just burnish it down once you've put it on. Like so. Okay, and that gives you the length you need for your book. So start by putting the spine just about centre, but ensuring that you've got enough room to put your sides and flaps over stick them down okay so I can move that up just slightly onto here and onto here okay and that gives me enough room all the way around for to fold them in okay so we'll go ahead and glue these down now I'm using the book binding glue by Kalal it's very good glue um, I like products that make sure things don't fall apart and I think if a lot of people are going to be looking at your lovely books and the last thing you want is them to fall apart on you so stick your spine down first like so okay it just takes a few seconds to dry and catch and the other one Oops, bit of a screech there. Okay, put that one down beside there. Just leaving a little gap in between. Okay, and the last one. Okay, and putting that one down here. Now the reason we're leaving a little gap is so that your book can fold over without hitting the other parts. Um, it'll become clear once we start to do it. Okay, so normally at home you'd let these sit and dry out, but just for video purposes. I'll just um, move on to the next part, which will be cutting your edges. So you want to cut each side like so. Just leave a little bit. And what you can do is when you're putting these over, you just tuck this little part in and it just gives you a neater edge. So it's a good practice to do that. And this side as well. And this one. Okay, so that's your corners ready to get glued down. Now what I would say first is burnish this over so it becomes a bit easier to manoeuvre. 
when you've got your glue on. So just use your mount board, pull it all up and burnish the edges like so. And same on all sides. on this one it just makes it more pliable so that when you add the glue you're not having to do this part okay and the last one there we are now again, I'm just going to use the, the book binding glue on here. Okay. Just going to give it a few seconds. And this side, just going to hold it for a few. So the little corners, see them there? So if you just, just push it in with your nail, like that. And this side. I hope you're all starting to receive your um, Bella Luna collections. Can't wait to see all your lovely makes with them, all the cards. And hopefully maybe somebody can make a little book. They're nice and I think uh, Leanne had pointed out that uh, it would be nice to have pictures like photographs in them as well. Or spaces for photographs, which was a brilliant. Um, I made mines to really showcase the, the beautiful papers. I mean, wow. It blew me away. As soon as I seen that collection, I knew I had to make one of these. Just beautiful. And I hope you're all, if you have received it, I hope you're all starting to enjoy it. This just takes a, a few seconds to embed down. Sorry if this is boring to watch this part. Uh, but it's a process, just like everything. At home you just take your time and wait till each piece is properly glued down. But for now, I'm just happy at the moment to carry on. And the last one... 
Okay. Okay, I'm just going to use my nail on this side as well. And saying you don't have to be too fussy with this side because um, you're going to be covering it with papers of your choices anyway. Okay, and we're just about there. Okay, so then just gently tease up. Just obviously you can wait until yours is completely dry before doing the next stage. But just wait till it's just about straight, just teasing it up. And you could see that you've left enough room there for it to form the book shape. Okay, so that's your basic book. The next one we're going to do the spine now. So just put your book to one side. Hi, it's Pamela again. Okay, now we're going to do the spine. So I'm going to make a six leaf spine, which will end up looking like this. Now, I know there are a few dies out there um, that do cut out the spine for you and that's fantastic I've always made my own so I'm going to show you how to do your own one anyway okay so what you'll need is a six inch by ten inch piece of craft card a score tool and a scoreboard now there is quite a few measurements in this one so I'll try and go as slow as I can but your first score is at on the short side 1.2 inches so on the inches side so 1.2 inches then 1.4 inches then 2 inches 2.4 inches 2.6 3.2 3.6 4 4.4 5 5.2 5.6 6.2 7 8.6 and 9 okay so that's all the scoring then what you've got is this so if you see all the large ones so all this the every third score is your mountain folds and all these little ones are your valley folds so by that I mean this one is a valley fold, another valley fold, and then a mountain fold, and another valley fold, and another valley fold, and then a mountain fold. Another valley fold, 
and another valley fold and a mountain fold okay so if you just do that all the way along then you'll end up with these little shapes here and these become the parts for your pages to sit on okay so if you just do that you'll end up with this there we go so that's them all folded and creased then what you want to do is turn it over and put red liner tape in every mountain so you've got your mountain fold here so what you want to do is put red tape in here I'll take those off and what that does is it seals them together so they're stable for your your pages to go in fold them together you see th that's it more stable now okay and you just go ahead put red liner tape on all of your mountains Turn it back around, fold together, fold together, okay and that's you got your spine, that's for your pages to go on, okay. Then what you want to do on the other side of it, on the underside, I want you to put some red liner tape on each end. So I've used the 12 mil I think here. So I've got three strips over here and that's just to give it more secureness when you're attaching it to your book. Okay. So get your book. And you could see that that's going to fit on perfectly on here. Okay, and that's your six leaves here. Okay, so I'll just go ahead, take off the tape. There we go. And fix it on. And just press it down. And there we have our spine. Okay. So what I want you to do at this point is remember the gap we left. So we want to follow that gap and just score down at the side of the spine. And then just tease it up. And the other side. Okay. And then you've got your book. There we go. Okay, so next video I'll start to decorate the front, the front, the side, the back and the first page and the front inside cover. Okay, thank you for watching.